Skeener. He'll be filing reports next week for us here at 6 and 11 o'clock. Well, skiing has undergone many changes down through the years, but Jimmy Young today caught up with some men that have skied through most of those changes. Like going up Tuckman's Ravine, only it doesn't get, quite, doesn't get quite as steep. Pleasant Mountain is steep enough, thank you, especially for these members of the Plus 70 Club. That's an exclusive ski club with over 2,800 members around the world. The key to club membership isn't your level of ski skill, but your age. Give us privileges, uh, day tickets at certain areas. We get free skiing at some or a 50% discount. For $5, you get a membership in that. If you live, <laughs> that, that's a lifetime membership. So whether you live a couple of years over that or not. Chase, along with club members Hugh Morton, Al Irvin, and Don Simpson, all ski a few times a week. Between them, they've skied for over 220 years. And perhaps more than any other sport, skiing has changed a lot since the days of wooden skis and strap bindings. The principal change is the change in the ski areas and the grooming equipment that they have and the snowmaking equipment. So you don't have to wait for a snowstorm now. One thing that hasn't changed for these skiers, though, is their love for the sport. It's the nearest way to reach God, get up the top, and that's probably the only time I'll ever get near him. <laughs> oh, it's just exhilarating, you know. You're floating down the hill, sort of. I suppose it's akin to flying, maybe, you know. It's the next best thing to sex. <laughs> Hey, at their age, second best is close enough. Jimmy Young, News 13 Sports, Bridgeton. Well, still plenty of time to get the skis. I huh? guess so, yes. Thanks, Frank. <laughs> well, get out the sweat.